Grand Cathay, a vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the Storm Dragon, older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, but the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shenzhou, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan mountains, but was lost. Without her, without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you? Iron Dragon. There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Ursa, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursa. Lead you to him before it's too late. For one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. The armies of Cathay must breach the Maelstrom and march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shenzhou is returned to you. The first soul harvested. When all four have been gathered, they will combine into a single light, revealing a shadow path to the Forge of Souls. Then Ursun will be within our reach. But what's this? The tome consumes the soul's energy, reaching across time, revealing secrets. It was the Old Ones that shaped this world into a paradise. Yet the power they harnessed to move sun and rock could not be tamed. Raw magic erupted from the Great Cataclysm, flowing forth from a realm of chaos. So came the demons. They hunted the mortals, feeding on their souls. Yet one of their prey betrayed his kin and embraced the gods of chaos. They gifted him demonhood, and he became the first demon prince, Belakor. He clawed at the world, scarred it with his armies, reveling in the bloodshed. Those who seek power will always want more, and Belakor's lust was the greatest of all. Gods of Chaos! Have I not fed you souls? Have I not given you the world? Give me more power. Answer me! The four gods punished the demon prince for his arrogance. They took everything. His armies. His power, his form. Cursed to roam the world as a shadow amongst the shadows, powerless for eternity. Damn the gods!
Bellacor has spent millennia planning his revenge on the Chaos Gods. What twisted scheme has his dark mind constructed? Ursul is not dead. The bear still clings to life. Of course, God blood to break a curse. Too long. I was imprisoned in shadow. Finally, my flesh returns. Flesh to tear, little demon. When I am free, you will know the wrath of a god. The thorns of the forge are strong, and you grow weak. Our journey is not complete. The Lord of Shadows is a shadow no more. With his curse broken, he can pursue his burning desire to enact revenge and dominate the world. So, Bellacor has rebuilt his throne of old. But to what purpose? He has no followers, no army. Even the Chaos Gods abandoned him. <laughs> Does something amuse you? You sit in your little chair. But what power do you really wield? Hidden away, deep this forge hidden. Your roar was felt across the world. A god's carrion will attract powerful scavengers. Let them come. The essence of the slain will be repurposed into an army. It cannot be. Bellacor controls the Forge of Souls. He intends to build an army of the most twisted manifestations. Soul Grinders. Your Chaos Masters will not allow it. I have no masters! The Chaos Gods are forbidden to enter here. Be silent while we wait. Wait for what? For you to die. New deity will soon ascend. Bellacor, the Chaos God of Shadows. But his transformation will take time. He can still be stopped. He must be stopped. 
then, Ursin's power is yours. Empires forged, demons slain. The realm of chaos endured and mastered. The time has come to fulfill the final part of the pact. The spirits imprisoned in the Tome of Fates, now untethered. They combine into a single light, casting a shadow as they journey to the Forge. Where shadows fall, we shall step. A bridge revealed to the Forge of Souls. Bellacor is on the verge of godhood, but he has not ascended yet. What he started, we will finish. Destroy him and claim the power of the Bear God. A battle to draw the gaze of the gods. All breathe a sigh of relief, for Bellacor is vanquished. Godhood is lost. As was foretold, shackled within the depths of the forge was the body of Urson, the once mighty god of Kislev. A dragon stands before a lifeless god. But all is not lost. The spirit wind is harnessed. Even Urson must speak once more. Urson fades forever. But his last kindness will not be forgotten. A vision of the lost dragon child, waiting for her sibling's light. One drop of Urson's blood was enough to break my curse. The taint purged from the Tome of Fates. Now it is mine to command. A pure white crow, the lone witness to my ascension. Come, little one, what fate awaits us? <laughs> <laughs>